Hello and welcome to this final section of our videos on reason. In this section we're going to be looking at reason's effects, EQ section, automation and its mixer, which is big and complicated looking but actually not as scary as it might first appear. Previously we've had a look at um, audio and MIDI in reason, how they're rooted, recorded and edited and how you can put tracks together. And we've had a look at reason's many excellent instrument devices. So we're going to wrap up in this final section by having a look at uh, the effects that you can use to make your projects a bit more interesting, how to mix, how to understand the mixer, and how to automate things to, uh, to make things even more interesting. So let's begin with insert effects. Now, most of the effects that you use in Reason will be insert effects, and the reason they're called insert effects is because they are inserted between a sound source and the mixer. And the most common way to do that is to attach one to an instrument or audio track module. So if I call up the uh, tool window, you can see here I've got an NN19 with a piano patch loaded and it's just dry at the moment. So that's not a bad sound, but um, it doesn't sound very interesting particularly. Uh, it sounds completely dry, which it is. There's no reverb on it at all. So if I was to go to the tool window and choose just to show the effects, here is a list of all our effects. Now there are quite a few of these and we're going to look at them in detail. But initially, just to get used to the concept of insert effects, any uh, effect that you drag into the rack is added as an insert. So if I find something fairly simple here, let's say a reverb unit, and I drag it onto my module, you can see that my module gets a very thin blue outline. And if I uh, let go of the mouse, that insert effect has been inserted between the sampler and the mix module. If I spin the rack round, you'll see that more clearly. So here we have the sampler's audio outputs. They've been routed to the inputs on the effect. And the outputs of the effect have been routed into the mix module. So now I'm going to turn it down because that defaults to being a bit too wet. If I play my piano, it's still a bit too wet. So if I turn the dry wet down and uh, the size down. So that's got a, a nice uh, reverb tail on it now. And Reason's routing system is really clever, and it means that if you keep dragging inserts, they'll just keep automatically being chained. So if I was to drag a delay in, and uh, again turn it down a little bit, So if I spin the rack round, I didn't have to do anything. I just dragged the effect in and it's been routed automatically, which is really handy. And that will just keep going um, the more you add. As with uh, everything else in Reasons Rack, you can add more or less as many effects uh, as you like. Obviously, there does come a point when um, the sound is really more effect than sound. Uh, so it is possible to, to go a bit overboard. Sometimes that might be quite an interesting thing to try some uh, extreme processing. If I close this, you'll see that the effects don't appear in the mixer as such. They, they don't pop up on our mixer channel. Um, but you can assign these quick controls to uh, control parameters on our effects. If I click on Edit Inserts here, it leaps us straight to our mix module. And that's a, a handy thing to know about. So you can always jump straight to an effect. We'll have a look uh, a little bit later on when we look at the mixer about how that works. But that's something just to bear in mind. So that's a, a very quick introduction to insert effects. Let's have a look now at uh, how send effects differ from insert effects. 